Hello and welcome to our second video on bladeless fans. In the last video we learnt about the basic principles that govern how a bladeless fan works. Today I'll show you how to use the software provided as a part of this project to design your own bladeless fan. By the end of the video you'll have files that can be printed using a 3D printer. The next video will teach you how to assemble the components once they are printed. In order to complete this tutorial you'll need MATLAB installed on your computer as well as some CAD software. The first step is to follow the link in the description to arrive at the project website. From the main page, go to the menu and select the project. Here we can see the elements required to make a bladeless fan. By the end of this video, you'll have STL files for the fan profile, fan adapter and impeller housing. The impeller and power cable obviously can't be 3D printed and must be purchased. If you follow these links, you can purchase the same ones that we used in the project. Any 120mm computer fan should work, but the one shown here is one of the most powerful. The impeller housing is a fixed design that will be the same regardless of fan profile dimensions. Click here to download the STL file that's ready to be 3D printed. The fan profile and fan adapter are both generated using MATLAB and the code can be downloaded by clicking here. You will also need the functions surf to stl and offset curve that can be downloaded from the MathWorks websites by following these links. Once these files have been downloaded, extract them wherever you want your MATLAB directory to be. Make sure the surf to stl and offset curve functions are in the same folder. Now let's double click on the file GUI1.m to open MATLAB. Once MATLAB has loaded, click Run to display the user interface. As you can see, the parameters for a default cross-section profile are already entered. If you want, you can make changes to the parameters and investigate the effect it has on the fan. The aerofoil drop-down menu sets the original shape of the aerofoil. The length and height are the maximum internal length and height of the fan cross-section. The outlet angle is the angle this slit makes with the horizontal. The cone angle is the angle of this aerofoil. The outlet separation is the size of the gap at the outlet slit. The exit edge height is the difference in height between this flat edge and the top of the aerofoil. The sweep type determines whether your 3D fan profile will be in the shape of a circle, oval or rectangle. The sweep height, width and corner diameter affect the dimensions of this swept profile. Finally, the neck radius is the radius of the hole in the fan section that connects it to the fan adapter. Make sure that this is set to less than half of the length, otherwise the hole will be too big. Once you've set your preferred dimensions, tick the box to generate XLS files and STL files and click Run. This generates an STL file for the fan adapter, which can be seen here, and is ready to be 3D printed. A bunch of points corresponding to the cross-section of the fan have also been generated as XLS files. Make a note of the value you used for neck radius, as we will need this later. Now that we have generated some points, we can import them into CAD to create the 3D profile, so let's open up the CAD software. I'll be using Autodesk Inventor, but this method should work on other software. First, let's create a new file, like so. Click Start 2D Sketch and select the YZ plane. Now click here to import the points that we generated earlier in MATLAB. First, we will select Arrow Over and click on Options. Then click the box that says Spline to make sure that the points are imported as a smooth line. We repeat this for arrow over off and arrow under. Now select edges and in options click on points. We want to connect the edges of each of the lines so that this cross section can be used to create a 3D profile. Click on lines and connect the points as follows.
Now click finish sketch. The next step is to move is to import more points. So click new 2D sketch and select the XZ plane. Again, click on import points and sweep, making sure it's set to spline in the options. Now finish sketch and select the sweep function. the profile, select the fan cross section and for path, select the sweep line we just imported. Now we need to add a hole in the bottom of this 3D profile so it can connect to the fan adapter. To do this, we open the origin tab and right click the XY plane and select visibility so we can see the plane. Then click plane and offset from plane. Drag, drag it far enough that it's just beyond the edge of the fan profile. The distance away from the fan determines how long the neck of the fan will be. Now we need to start a new 2D sketch and draw a circle with a diameter of twice the neck radius we set using the MATLAB interface earlier. So here I'll set it to 90. Now click dimension and select the centre of the circle, then the origin point. Set this distance to a value that makes a circle roughly in the centre of the profile. Once you've done this, click finish sketch, then extrude, and make sure your circle is selected. Change this option to cut, and instead of distance, we want to next. We've given the fan a hole, but now we need to add the neck. To do this, copy the sketch of the circle you just did by opening this drop down menu and start a new sketch in the same plane as before. Right click and click paste to create the same circle from earlier. Now click offset, select the circle and set the offset value to 6mm. Again click finish then extrude. Select the ring we just made, making sure these settings are selected, and click OK to create the neck. All we have to do is export it as an STL file by clicking File, Export, CAD Format. Then select STL file from the drop down menu and change the name to Fan Profile. Now click Save. You have now created three STL files that are ready to 3D print. It's recommended that you use a 3D printer with dual injection in order to print the fan profile in one go, otherwise you will need to print it in sections and then attach them. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for more bladeless fan content.